I'm actually gonna add in one more tip that I wanted to say for the end because these are for the people that are actually serious about starting a YouTube channel. Being a content creator has become one of the most desired careers in this day and age. We are in high demand as more companies are realizing the value in a trustworthy audience as opposed to just paying for blind ads. And people are recognizing the value in being yourself and sharing your passions with the world, all while getting paid to do it. In this case, I'm sharing my very chill morning routine as we have this little laid back chat. But look, I've been creating content for over six years and I am so grateful that I started when I did. The moment I got my first AdSense check that matched what I was making in a month as a salon assistant, bear in mind, I was 19, it was 2012, so this was like $1,000 a month. Regardless, I immediately quit my job to pursue this passion on YouTube full time. I've been self-employed since then and it was the best decision I could have possibly made for myself. I actually still remember getting my first brand deal. It was with Jamba Juice, shockingly enough, and I couldn't believe that they wanted to pay me to promote their new acai bowl. I talked about acai bowls very regularly on my channel at this time and I'm assuming they just caught on to that but that's the power of influence back then people still couldn't really comprehend how I was making money doing what I did I had countless conversations with strangers that were along the lines of wait you're getting paid to record yourself talking about your day or you're telling me this company is flying you to Vegas to play virtual reality and create content around it and a lot of people telling me what I did isn't really work however did you know that more than half of Americans believe content creation should be treated as a real job now I can understand people feeling that this isn't real labor. But as a content creator, I can tell you it's a healthy mix of labor and fun because using your creativity to guide your work doesn't make it any less of labor. We just get to love what we do while we're doing it. For example, this is footage of Ryan and I planning some short form content for a Nikon Instagram reel. Nikon had put their trust in me to create content around their new camera in a way that I thought would captivate viewers. Ryan and I had so much fun drawing out the scene board and planning out props and scenes and just really bringing it to life. As we were working on this together, I just remember thinking, damn, like I love my life. I get to create fun videos with amazing companies and their trust is in me to bring it to life by really just being myself. And I really don't think that anything can compete with that feeling. Now that I've hopefully sold you guys on being a content creator, I want to actually share some tips with you on how to get started. And I know that there are so many videos out there and a lot of us are going to say the same thing. But sometimes it's nice to hear it from somebody that you already trust online. And I'm hoping in this case that I'm that person for you. So first things first, I cannot stress this enough, is to be yourself. We are in a day and age right now, which is really special. People want to see you being you. Videos that are blowing up right now, whether it's on TikTok or YouTube, are people just being authentic. They're sharing their work days. They're sharing their time in school. They're talking about their relationships, talking about your day-to-day -day life and making it real and making people feel like they can connect with you. As a consumer of content myself, that's what I think a lot of us are looking for. So please just be true to yourself. Number two would be to figure out your niche if you want to have a niche. Yes, it's totally true that if you have a niche on any social media platform, you are going to have higher chances of growing much more quickly. But there is also a beauty in not having a niche and just allowing yourself to be you. I definitely put myself in this category. I started off as a fitness content creator and that was all people wanted from me. It is okay if you are somebody that's like, you know what, I want to just talk about cooking. I could talk about this forever. But you need to make sure, can you actually truthfully, comfortably talk about cooking for the next five, maybe 10 years, not feel like you're burnt out, not feel like you're running out of content ideas. If not, amazing, you're set, go for it. If you're somebody like me who's like, hey, I am a jack of all trades and I like to talk about so many different things. I love animals and fashion and working out and travel, do it. Just allow it to grow organically and enjoy that process because it's a really exciting one and it's great to not feel like you're tied down to anything. The next thing, please just start filming. Do not get in your own way. In two to three months, in four to five months, in a year from now, you're gonna wish that you had started this day. Now, when it comes to what you're filming with, it's really best to start with what you've got. If you have an iPhone, obviously the quality on those phones is incredible. And if that's where you want to start, by all means, do it. There are a lot of people doing that. But if you want to up the quality and make an investment in your social media platform, whether it's YouTube or TikTok, and make an investment in yourself, then you should start with a nicer camera. So if that's an option for you, this is the camera that I recommend. Nikon is actually the sponsor for today's video. So I'm really excited to share with you guys why I think this is the perfect camera starting off as a video content creator. This is the Nikon Z30 and it is a camera that was made specifically for video content creators. Like Nikon knew exactly what they were doing because there are so many content creators that are constantly bouncing around from different DSLRs to point and shoot cameras to phones. I can't tell you the amount of cameras that I've been through. This camera is a really good entry level camera but it's also great for a content creator that has been doing this for years because it's really easy to use without compromising any of the advanced features that a DSLR camera would have. If you're 
you're a foodie, fashion, traveler, whatever it is, you name it, this camera is amazing because it takes professional 4K image pictures. I should probably note that I am also filming this video with a Nikon Z30 and all of the clips that you've seen in my last maybe two to three videos have been with the Nikon Z30. So if you want to check those out to kind of see what the quality is like day to day, I highly recommend that. The one thing that I have personally noticed that I've loved a lot is that it has a really soft blurred background that I think is just perfect for filming with because it's obviously drawing the viewer's attention to you but also creating this nice soft blur in the background that just creates a very clean image. And this lens is literally chef's kiss. The kit lens is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens and if you don't know, now you know, 16 millimeter is just perfect when you are filming yourself and you're holding the camera like this. Because a lot of the times when you're holding a camera in front of you, they're just too cropped in. 16 millimeters is right where you want it to be. And of course, every vlogger, every content creator ever needs a front facing swivel LCD screen. This is just a must. It's going to make your life so much easier. It's going to allow you to see yourself in the shots, to touch the screen in autofocus. You can quite literally select yourself so that as you move around through the camera, it knows to stay focused on you and not on the next thing in its eye line. I am so beyond grateful to have had the opportunity to work with Nikon on this video because I was already planning on buying this camera and then I got this opportunity and I was like, my mind was blown. I felt like I manifested it. I highly recommend you checking out the Nikon Z30 if you're looking for a new camera as a video content creator to start your journey. And I will have a Nikon link in the description down below. Thank you again to Nikon for sponsoring today's video. Okay my next tip. Create a schedule that you can be consistent with. Most people on YouTube will post one, maybe two times a week. On Instagram, maybe they're posting one to two times a day, once every other day. Now for TikTok, that's a whole different category. I've definitely been around a lot of other TikTokers who are very successful and that is their main platform and I've learned so much from them. And every single one of them that I've spoken to has said we should be posting one to three TikToks a day. And I'm like, that's a lot of dang videos. That's a social platform that you want to grow on. You're going to need to spend a lot of time Time on TikTok figuring out the content that trends, audios that work, and then also finding a way to weave yourself into that very naturally and organically. TikTok is one of the easiest platforms to grow on as well. I do want to touch on editing for a moment. I think what most people are intimidated by and the people that I've spoken to is editing. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to start. It doesn't matter. The only things you really need to know how to do when you're just getting started was cut out those awkward ums and the millennial pauses and also just trimming out content that you don't feel is necessary and there is always a very easy easy tutorial online to figure out how to do that. If you want to add a little bit of background music or text to the screen, again, a lot of these video editors like Final Cut Pro, iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, they will all have templates that are already built in. Start there, learn your craft as you go. So if you've made it to the very end of this video, I applaud you. And I'm actually going to add in one more tip that I wanted to say for the end because these are for the people that are actually serious about starting a YouTube channel. If you're wanting to do this full time and you want to actually make money off of this that will allow you to quit your daytime job, you're going to need to start building relationships with the brands that you love. The main ways that monetization comes through is going to be through Google AdSense, which is just the ads that play before, during, and after a YouTube video. Instagram, you have the ability to make money through Reels bonus program, but I don't know if everybody gets the option to do that. And honestly, it's really not much. At the beginning, they were offering out money like it was candy, but these days it is a lot lower. I know that there are other ways to make money with ads and things like that, subscription services and stuff on Instagram and YouTube, but those are going to be things where you're actually going to need to build an audience so that they are coming and actually paying to be a devoted subscriber of your content. TikTok creators are making pennies with their content. There's that really popular lawyer girl, I can't remember her name, but I love her. And she actually did a very transparent video about how much TikTok paid her in a year. And I think it was like $300 and her videos go so viral. So the easiest way to really start building consistent revenue is working with brands that you already love. So a really easy way to actually start doing this is actually by going on a website like Aspire. IQ. Their website is literally made for content creators to start working with brands and they kind of act as a middleman for the collaboration process. And another way to get these brands to notice you is to start making short form content of these brands that you love. Let's say you love skincare and you want to do a brand deal with Neutrogena. So what are you going to do? You're going to get some Neutrogena products that you already own or go out and buy some and start doing a skincare routine showing Neutrogena. Talk about five of the best products that are underrated from Neutrogena. Guaranteed that brand is going to see that you are making content for them and they're either going to want to use that content for ads if it's really good or they're going to want to start gifting you things and hopefully that gifting can lead to a collaboration. You just need to get in front of these brands eyes and make them see your value. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below and again I'll have any useful links in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you next time.